guy's effigy of Robert the Bruce here. Uh, it's made of wood with alabaster for the hands and the face. And uh, you'll notice he's, he's a big guy. He's a very big man. Now, this is not quite life size. It's a little bit bigger um, than, than real life here. So, Robert the Bruce was Scotland's hero king. Okay, he was fighting, as I said, a civil war, fighting against the English invasion. And he'd eventually be victorious in 1314 at the Battle of Bangkok. Now, unfortunately for us, we don't really know what Robert looked like because we have no paintings of him, we have no statues of Robert from when he was alive. But about 200 years ago, we found Robert's tomb. Uh, he'd been buried at Dunfermline at the Dunfermline Abbey. And about 200 years ago, the congregation had outgrown the old abbey. And they decided to extend and uh, create a new church, uh, sort of an extension to the abbey. When they were digging down, they found Robert's tomb. And he was lying inside a double casing of lead. And they peeled back the lead they found the skeleton. They measured the skeleton and they estimate he would have been six foot three inches tall in life. So even taller than me. And this is a man who lived 700 years ago. He would have been a giant of his day. Now there was a hole in his chest where his heart had been cut out. And we know that on his deathbed, Robert's heart was cut from his chest because he promised God that he would lead a crusade to Jerusalem. But by the time he was able to fulfill that promise, he knew it was too late, he knew he was done. So his heart was cut from his chest, put inside a silver casket, and his closest friend, Jamie Douglas, would wear Robert's heart on a chain around his neck for the rest of his life. And Jamie Douglas would lead the crusade to Jerusalem. In Bruce's name. So they did a little bit of archaeology. They took a plaster cast of Robert's skull. We still have that plaster cast. And modern forensic science have taken the plaster cast of Robert's skull and they've recreated his face. You've all seen CSI when they do that. So that's what they've done with Robert. Now I don't know if any of you have a 20 pound note in your pocket, a Scottish Clydesdale Bank. 20 pound note, would you have a little look? That's an English one. Anybody got a 20 pound note yeah. in their pocket? I haven't got Cindy, one. Cindy, do you still have one? I actually um, got rid of it yesterday. Yeah. 